Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockiner. Today's story is an internet-wide DDoS attack. Okay, I admit it, there's a little bit of hyperbole in this topic. It really wasn't an internet-level DDoS attack. That said, if you live in the U.S., a number of really big sites like uh, Twitter, Reddit, Facebook, GitHub, and many other really big sites may have been unavailable to you throughout the day. This is because a large DNS service provider, technically a DNS middleman called Dyn, was suffering from a very big distributed denial of service attack. At the beginning of the day on the East Coast around 7 a.m., a number of sites were unavailable to folks. At first, some people thought it was due to some sort of issue with some Amazon web services. But as it turns out, Dyn, who is kind of a DNS middleman, they do DNS management and kind of act like a phone book for the internet, was suffering a huge distributed denial of service attack. Dyn eventually recovered from the attack, but later on, as the Pacific time zone woke up, they suffered another attack and more and more attacks all throughout the day. Day. Long story short, if you were in the US reaching sites like Twitter, you may have had intermittent outages. Early in the day, no one knew much technically about this attack other than these bad guys were targeting Dyn. However, many security pundits uh, assume that it may have something to do with that Internet of Things or the Mariah botnet that I've been talking about in my videos that first targeted Krebs. In fact, Krebs also wrote an article mentioning that he's partnered with one of the Dyn researchers, and that particular researcher or actually disclose some information at a presentation earlier in the morning. That said, we didn't know for sure it was this Internet of Things botnet at first. However, later in the day, a security research company called Forcepoint said that at least part of the attack did seem to be coming from the Mirai botnet. So it does seem like this Internet of Things botnet is responsible for this attack. Now that alone is kind of a big deal and interesting story. We're all worried about the security of the Internet of Things. Having this Internet of Things botnet being able to generate up to one terabit per second DDoS attacks is actually a huge deal. It's a big concern for the security community. But the other really big part of this story isn't uh, what is causing the DDoS attack. It's who these attackers are specifically targeting. You know, normally DDoSers go after a particular target. Maybe they have some sort of feud with MasterCard, so they'll try to knock down MasterCard's site. But in this case, the DDoSers went after part of the infrastructure of the internet. DNS, or the domain main system, is a core part of internet infrastructure. Structure is what allows your computer to find sites on the internet. Even if your own web commerce site isn't under any sort of attack, if your customers can't find it, that's a big deal. As far as your customer is concerned, your site or even the internet could be down. So having these attackers leverage this IoT botnet to go after a core service provider on the internet, somebody that actually has something to do with the domain name system process, is a big deal. And is of course why many sites were affected by this. It didn't affect one site, it affected many sites that actually used Dyn for part of their DNS management service. As an aside, talking about DDoS attacks going after internet infrastructure, around a month ago a well-known security expert, Bruce Schneier, also a cryptographer, released a blog post talking about threat actors that seem to be practicing how they might take down the internet. Specifically, they were launching DDoS attacks against things like DNS servers and uh, key parts of the internet, things that are responsible for the infrastructure we all use to get the sites out there. In any case, now that we've seen this real attack, it lends a whole bunch more credence to that actual blog post. So if you haven't read it, I'll be sure to post a link to it in the reference section associated with this video. As far as what you can do about these DDoS attacks, it's a pretty complex topic. Uh, first of all, you have to worry about DDoS attacks that directly target you, that actually go after your infrastructure. In those cases, if bad guys have resources that allow them to create one terabit per second DDoS attacks, you can't really buy a hardware device that will withstand that. So really, if you're considering DDoS protection, you need to consider some sort of hybrid solution that uses the cloud and filter some of that traffic before it actually reaches your infrastructure. That said, what's more concerning about this attack is it didn't target Netflix or Reddit or, or Twitter. It actually targeted an internet service provider, a DNS service provider. And because of this, there's nothing Netflix or Twitter could have done to protect themselves other than kind of react to this attack. Because the DNS service provider was under attack, it affected many other sites. So this is kind of an industry-wide problem that these DNS service providers need 
need to figure out themselves. Anyways, just a fascinating incident and one I'm sure we'll share more details about as they come out. Anyways, I hope you have a great weekend. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.